Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to construct a mid-segment of a triangle using compass and a straight edge. In this case, we're going to use ruler. Before we go over the steps on how to construct a mid-segment of a triangle, we remember that a mid-segment of a triangle is a line segment that joins the midpoints of the two sides of a triangle. And this mid-segment is parallel to the third side, the one that is not used, and it is half the length of the third side. So given this triangle right here, we're going to create a mid-segment. So we're going to use only two sides of the triangle, and we're going to determine the midpoints of these two sides. So in our um, demonstration today, I will show you how to determine the midpoint of this side of the triangle and the midpoint of this side of the triangle so that we can create the mid segment. That's the line that connects the two sides of the triangle. Now let's get started on the steps on how to construct a mid segment of a triangle. So again, in this video, we are going to create a mid segment using these two sides of the triangle. It depends on what the problem is asking. You can also use this side right here and this side or you can use this side and this side it depends on um what is being asked of the problem but today we're going i'm going to show you how to determine the mid segment using these two sides and the steps that we're going to use to determine the mid segment of these two sides would work for all of the other sides now let's take the first step the first step is to stretch the compass until it is more than half of the length of the given line segment and put the sharp end at one of the end points and mark an arc on both sides of the line segment. So in this case right here, I am going to stretch this um, compass. I have to make sure that it is more than half so I can extend it up there. That's more than half. And then I am going to create an arc on both sides. So one arc on this um, side right here. So I have to make sure that this one doesn't move. So one arc on this side, and then I will create another arc on the other side of the line segment. Now we're ready to move on to the second step. The second step is without changing the width of the compass, repeat step one to the other end point of the line segment. So I will put the sharp end of the compass um, up here. And then I am going to create another arc on both sides of the line segment. So that's one arc right there. And then another arc on the other side, making sure that the two arcs are intersecting. Now we're ready to move on to the third step. The third step is using a ruler. We're supposed to join the two points where the two arcs intersect and mark the midpoint of the line segment. So the two arcs are intersecting here and the other intersection of the two arcs is um, on this side right here. So that means that the midpoint between these two vertices of the triangle is located at this point. So this is our first midpoint. So I'm just gonna go ahead and label this as the midpoint. Now we're ready to move on to the fourth step. The fourth step states that we are supposed to repeat step one, two, and three using the other side of the triangle. So again, we are supposed to use this side of the triangle right here. So we're going to repeat the same step um, one, two, and three. So we are supposed to stretch the compass, making sure that it is more than half of the um, length of the uh, given line segment and we put the sharp end on one of the end points and mark an arc on both sides of the line segment. So that's more than half. So I will create an arc on this first side and then another arc on this side right here. And then I will move on to the second step without changing the width of the compass. I am going to repeat step one using the other end point of the line segment. So then I will create an arc on both sides of the line segment and another arc on this um, side right here. And so we move on to the third step. Using a ruler, join the two points 
where the two arcs intersect. So these are the two arcs where uh, the two arcs that are intersecting and mark the midpoint on the line segment. So then that's the uh, first intersection. This is the second intersection right here. And then the midpoint of this line segment is located here. So I'm going to uh, put a dot here. This is the midpoint. So I'm just gonna go ahead and label this as midpoint. Now we're ready to move on to the fifth step. Step five states that we're supposed to connect the two midpoints and this will be our mid segment. So I will create this, um, I'm going to connect these two dots together and this is our mid segment. So I'm just gonna label that down here. Please remember that this mid segment is parallel to the third side, the side that we didn't use. We're using these two sides right here. So the, it's this one is parallel to the third side. So I can go ahead and label that. This arrowhead tells us that they are both parallel. And at the same time, the length of the mid segment is half the length of the third side. And that is how we construct a mid-segment of a triangle using a compass and a straight edge. In this case, we're using ruler. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.